Hi, my name is Hallie, and I'm a meteorologist. I work over there. This is a National Weather Service. Inside, there are many meteorologists who study the weather and make the forecast so you know what the weather is going to be like for your week. We have many tools that help us make the forecast. See that tall tower behind our office? Let's take a closer look. That's called a radar, and it helps us to see if any rain or snow or thunderstorms are coming. It kind of looks like a giant golf ball from the outside, but it looks much different inside. Do you want to go see what it looks like up there? Since the radar is so tall, there are lots of stairs we have to climb to get to the top. Everybody stand up and let's pretend we are climbing the stairs together. Let's go. You're doing great. Almost there. I can see the top now. We did it. Okay, now that we are at the top, let's sit back down and check out what's inside. See the spinning antenna? It spins in circles all day and all night, looking for rain or snow or thunderstorms. It can see storms hundreds of miles away. When the radar sees a storm, it sends that information to our computers phones, and TVs, so we can know when it's coming. Let's go inside the office and see if we see anything on the computers. Uh-oh, it looks like the sky is getting dark. I wonder if a storm is coming. Let's go inside and find out. It looks like my friend Taylor is working today. Hi, Taylor. We decided to come in because it was getting very dark outside. Can you show us what you're working on today? Of course. Remember when you were up in the radar tower earlier? Well, the radar saw a storm developing in the distance. It sent that information to our computer so we can look at it here. See the storm on the screen? Today I am watching this storm to make sure that it doesn't get too big and become a severe thunderstorm. A severe thunderstorm can make big hail or strong winds or even a tornado. Right now it doesn't look too bad, but remember that even thunderstorms that are not severe can be dangerous because of the lightning. Remember that when thunder roars, head indoors. Thanks, Taylor. That's good advice. Sounds like it was a good thing we came inside. I think I saw my friend Becky working over there when we came in. Let's go see what she is up to. Hi, Becky. What are you working on today? Today I am working on the forecast for the week. I use tools like Weather Satellite. Satellite helps me to see where it is cloudy. Looks like it's pretty cloudy out there right now. I also use tools like weather models. Weather models help to show me what kinds of weather are coming next. This map is showing high pressure moving toward our area, so it is going to be sunny next week. Cool, thanks for showing that to us, Becky. It was fun to see how Becky was making the forecast for next week using the weather models. But I wonder how those weather models know what it's going to be like next week. I bet my friend Katie knows. Let's go outside and talk to her. But first, let's double check with Taylor and make sure it's safe to go outside now. Hi, Taylor. We were going to go outside and see our friend Katie, but we wanted to make sure the storms are gone. Is it safe to go outside now? Good news, Hallie. 
The storms have moved away from our area and the sunshine has returned. It is safe to go outside. That sounds great. Let's go see Katie. Hi, Katie. We have a question for you. We were just inside talking to Becky and she showed us the weather models that said it was going to be sunny next week. But how do the weather models know? That's a great question, Hallie. I will show you. See this big balloon? We send this balloon up into the sky two times a day, every day of the year. We tie a string to the balloon and attach a weather instrument to it. It also has a parachute, so it can come back down after it pops. Let me show you. Here is our weather instrument. It is called a radio sonde. It kind of looks like a funny looking turtle, but it can tell us lots of useful information. See the long part with the wire sticking out of the side? It is able to tell us the temperatures as it goes up through the sky. See the smaller instrument sticking out of the side? The one that looks like a half circle? This instrument can tell us how much moisture is in the air, which helps us know if it's going to rain. On the inside of the instrument, there is also a sensor to tell us the pressure. We also know how windy it is by how far away the balloon blows before it pops. I'm going to get ready to send the balloon into the sky. Come with me. After we send the instrument up into the sky with the balloon, all of that weather information our little instrument collects is sent to the weather models. Weather balloons are sent up all over the country so that the weather models have lots of information to help us make the forecast. There are 91 National Weather Service offices in the United States that send up weather balloons 365 days a year. Okay, I think it's time to send it into the sky. Ready to let go? One, two, three! Wow, thanks for showing us that, Katie. It was fun to learn about how the weather balloon collects information for the weather models. Thanks for joining me today. It was fun to see the National Weather Service and meet some of my friends. I hope you learned some interesting things about the weather. The rest of my friends from the National Weather Service should be here soon to say goodbye. But before that, I wanted to make sure you knew that you could always find out more about the National Weather Service and meteorology online at www.weather.gov education. Be sure to check it out. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you had fun. See you next time.